Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about something a little different, and that's going to be my setup, or more specifically, uh, Tmux. And I think the uh, acronym, or the, the abbreviation, stands for Terminal Multiplexer. Uh, let me pull up their website real quick. Okay, here it is. Uh, terminal Tmux is a terminal multiplexer, and it basically lets you create like little mini environments. You can switch between uh, panes and windows. And so go ahead to tmux.github.io. I'm running it on Ubuntu, and it's really cool. So I don't know if you can see down here, but I have different. Uh, I think these are called. They call them windows, and it's basically just different like I don't know like mini environments that you can set up different panes in. So once you download Tmux, you'll see that there's all these like commands that you can that you can run with your keyboard in order to to make it to make it do cool stuff. So the one the most common one like the master command is control a or excuse me it's control b but i have it set up to be control a just because that's closer to my finger and i'll show you how you can edit that in a second but basically if i do control a and i press c i can open up basically a new window and once i'm here i can you know say whatever i can open up different panes i think they call these by doing control a and I have it set up so it's control A dash opens like a horizontal one. Uh, control A slash opens up a like a vertical one like this. And you can jump between them by doing control A and your arrows. And it jumps between them. Um, you can also do uh, switch between the different windows. If you look down here, you'll see that I got different windows going. Basically a different like little mini environments. So I got two, three, and four. If I do control A, which is my like lead uh, command. I do Control A P. You see how it goes back. I do Control A P again, and it goes back again. I can do Control N, Control A N. Pardon me, and it goes to the next one. You can see that asterisk jumping around back and forth. As you can see, this is my setup. So we just so happen to land here, and let's go ahead and uh, close this up real quick. So to edit your setup, you go, you open up a file, or you actually, I think, have to create it when you first download Tmux. I don't remember. Um, I downloaded so long ago that I think I did create it from scratch. So you go tmux.conf. It's a hidden file, so you start it with a you know with a dot file. It's a dot file. So you open that up, and then as you can see, like I mentioned, I unbound the default control. The C is for control, so I unbound it from control B to control A, as you can see here, just because I felt like that was closer. Um, so far, it hasn't really affected any other commands, so I think it works fine. Uh, I can split windows here horizontal, as you can see, with the backslash, and vertically with the dash. So let's go ahead and try that. You'll see dash makes a lower window, or I can close it by doing Control C, Control D, or a uh, vertical one, um, or horizontal one with with H, or I mean with the backslash. So that's Tmux. Um, all this other stuff is just customization. You can go ahead and Google any of this stuff to figure out how to do it. Really, it's just all about messing around with it. There are a lot of cool websites. There's one called, I think, um, like Crash Course, where you can find all of the commands. But uh, basically, that's Tmux, and it's super cool. You can, uh, you know, you have a nice little environment, and with Vim along with it, it's just super dope. So uh, you can also like detach this whole session. So I can go something like Control A D, and I've detached, as you can see here done it a whole bunch of times and if you do um, tmux uh, list sessions I can see I've got one session it's called zero with five windows and then I can do tmux attach to zero and attach back to it again and here I am so again remember that these are all windows so I have all these different windows obviously I don't know if you'd ever have something like this which is crazy um, because this is a lot and then you can have you know you could run htop here and see how your your processes are doing and uh, etc etc um, another sort of little cool little thing that you can do is if you want to say for example you have like uh, a couple panes open whoops let's go back oh crap there so say you have like different panes open here so here I don't know let's do let's go to our app that we were building in our last tutorial and we want to vim into this right um, what we can do here is say we don't want this to be like horizontally aligned like this is we can do lead 
uh, command, which in my case is Control A and then Spacebar, and it sort of let me do it again, and it uh, switches switches the orientation, I guess you could call it. So now I can expand this a bit, uh, which I've got to set up to Control A, H or L, um, respectively. You know, this one makes it bigger, this one makes it smaller. You can set that up yourself in the conf files. But yeah, basically Control Command Space sort of alters um, the layout. So I can even open like a third one here, and I can you know change all the layouts. Uh, you know, and completely customize my configuration. So, or my setup configuration. So that's basically um, that that little trick right there, which is cool, really helpful. So that's Tmux. I know this is probably a little bit rushed, but it was just a bit of an introduction. Again, this stuff is all like really superfluous. <laughs> a lot of the best developers that I know, you know, don't even bother with something like this because it just takes up time. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes it's fun just to mess around and customize. And it also, uh, you know, it, it's always about learning new stuff. So go ahead and try it out. Maybe you can make your environment a little bit cooler. And uh, I also use Vim, so maybe that'll be another video. But I hope this answered a couple questions, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.